there, health warriors. Before we get started, I'd like to mention that 89% of the viewers of this channel aren't subscribed. I'd really like to get that number down to 60% or less. So, if you enjoy my content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It greatly helps the channel grow. Now let's dive into the topic at hand. We all love the carnivore diet, known for its benefits in healing untreatable health conditions and chronic diseases. But there's troubling news. The carnivore diet might soon face a ban, much like what happened with the keto diet on several social media platforms. Could this really happen? And if so, why? Let's dive in and find out. Despite millions of people experiencing healing from chronic diseases by following the carnivore diet, a powerful lobby of big food and big pharma is trying to get this diet banned from social media. As the carnivore diet gains popularity, demonstrating effectiveness in reversing conditions like diabetes, heart issues, and autoimmune disorders. It poses a significant threat to industries profiting from artificial food supplements and expensive medications. The carnivore diet has aided millions in their struggle against chronic diseases, and yet, it appears to be in the crosshairs of some influential entities. Imagine large food and pharmaceutical corporations feeling threatened by the escalating popularity and effectiveness of this diet in reversing conditions like diabetes, heart issues, and autoimmune disorders, lobbying for its ban. Why would they prefer to ban a diet that's catalyzing such profound health transformations in people? Let's delve deeper to understand the rationale behind this potential ban. Lobbyists from the big pharma and big food industries claim that the carnivore diet poses a significant threat due to nutritional deficiencies. They have identified over 100 supposed deficiencies, asserting that the diet and red meat can cause various life-threatening health conditions and chronic disorders. The crucial question to consider is how valid these claims are. Moreover, can a diet truly be banned on social media platforms based on such assertions? To answer this important question, let's delve into the evidence and expert opinions. This claim is often the first line of argument against the carnivore diet. But what are these deficiencies exactly? Let's take a closer look at the most significant nutrient deficiencies that lobbyists claim the carnivore diet cannot support, arguing that this is a reason for it to be banned. First, we have omega-3 fatty acid deficiency. Critics argue that without plant sources like flax and chia seeds, the carnivore diet falls short in providing enough omega-3, the fats that are vital for our heart and brain health. Then, there's the argument of fiber deficiency. Critics claim that the absence of plant-based foods in the carnivore diet could lead to digestive issues. However, fiber is not an essential nutrient, and recent evidence suggests that it may actually cause inflammation in the gut. Many people on the carnivore diet report improved digestion and relief from digestive conditions without fiber. The elimination of plant fibers can reduce gut irritation and inflammation, challenging the widely held belief that fiber is necessary for healthy digestion. Next on the list is zinc deficiency. Critics believe that without legumes and whole grains, the carnivore diet might leave us lacking in zinc, an essential mineral that supports our immune system and metabolism. Magnesium deficiency is another concern. The diet's critics claim that without nuts, seeds, and leafy greens, the diet is inadequate in providing this crucial mineral that's involved in hundreds of biochemical reactions in our body. Potassium deficiency is also cited as a potential issue. The argument here is that the absence of fruits and vegetables in the carnivore diet could lead to low potassium levels, which could in turn affect heart and kidney health. Vitamin D deficiency is another major concern, especially for those who don't get enough sun exposure. Critics argue that the carnivore diet without the inclusion of vitamin D fortified foods might leave us deficient in this crucial vitamin that's essential for bone health. Then there's the issue of vitamin K2 deficiency. Critics say the carnivore diet lacks fermented foods, which are a key source of vitamin K2, known for its role in heart and bone health. We've gathered insights from top carnivore diet experts to address these criticisms. Let's start with omega-3 fatty acid deficiency. Critics contend that the carnivore diet falls short because it lacks plant-based omega-3 sources, such as flax seeds and chia seeds. However, Dr. Ken Barry counters this claim, stating that animal-based sources of omega-3, including fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, as well as grass-fed beef, provide these essential fats in a form that's highly bioavailable to our bodies. 
Regular consumption of these foods ensures an adequate omega-3 intake, promoting optimal brain and heart health. Next, we tackle fiber deficiency. Critics argue that a diet void of plant-based foods leads to digestive issues. However, Dr. Sean Baker points out that many people on the carnivore diet experience improved digestion and relief from digestive conditions without fiber. The elimination of plant fibers, he argues, actually reduces gut irritation and associated inflammation. Now, onto zinc deficiency. Critics believe that without legumes and whole grains, the carnivore diet might leave us short of zinc. Dr. Anthony Chaffee begs to differ. He explains that animal products like grass-fed beef, lamb, and pork are rich sources of zinc. Regular consumption of these foods ensures adequate zinc intake, supporting immune function and overall health. Let's discuss magnesium deficiency. Critics claim that without nuts, seeds, and leafy greens, the diet falls short. But Dr. Ken Berry argues that fish, red meat, and especially organ meats contain significant amounts of magnesium. The carnivore diet's focus on whole, nutrient-dense animal foods enhances magnesium absorption and reduces the body's magnesium needs. Potassium deficiency is another concern raised by critics who argue that the absence of fruits and vegetables leads to low potassium levels. However, Dr. Sean Baker points out that meat, particularly beef and lamb, contains substantial amounts of potassium. The diet's ability to improve insulin sensitivity and reduce sodium retention also lowers the body's potassium requirements. Vitamin D deficiency is a top concern raised by critics, especially with limited sun exposure. But Dr. Ken Berry assures us that fatty fish, egg yolks, and beef liver are rich natural sources of vitamin D. Regular sun exposure further boosts vitamin D levels, ensuring individuals on the carnivore diet meet their requirements. Next, we address vitamin K2 deficiency. Critics say the diet lacks fermented foods, leading to a shortage of this nutrient. However, Dr. Anthony Chaffee explains that animal products like grass-fed beef and egg yolks are excellent sources of vitamin K2. Regular consumption of these foods ensures adequate intake, supporting heart and bone health. As we can see, the carnivore diet isn't as deficient as critics claim. But what does this mean for the potential ban? Let's hear from our experts on other nutrient deficiencies often associated with the carnivore diet. First up is vitamin K2. Dr. Anthony Chaffee explains that animal products like grass-fed beef, egg yolks, and fat meats are excellent sources of this nutrient, ensuring adequate intake and supporting bone and heart health. Folate deficiency is often associated with the exclusion of leafy greens. However, Dr. Ken Barry counters this claim, stating that certain cuts of meat and seafood, such as shellfish and lamb, are rich sources of folate, providing more than adequate amounts to prevent deficiency. Calcium deficiency is a crucial issue due to the exclusion of plant-based sources. But Dr. Sean Baker assures us that bone-in cuts of meat, fish like sardines, and mineral-rich bone broth provide bioavailable calcium, supporting bone health effectively. What about vitamin A deficiency due to the lack of vegetables? Dr. Anthony Chaffee explains that animal products like grass-fed beef, eggs, and butter are rich in bioavailable vitamin A ensuring sufficient intake for vision and immune health. The exclusion of nuts, seeds, and plant oils has led to concerns about vitamin E deficiency. However, Dr. Ken Barry points out that animal fats, including those found in meats and dairy products, contain sufficient amounts of vitamin E, supporting overall health. Iodine deficiency is another concern due to the exclusion of sea vegetables and iodized salt. Dr. Sean Baker explains that seafood, particularly fish and shellfish, are rich sources of iodine. Regular consumption ensures adequate intake, supporting thyroid health. Selenium deficiency is often highlighted due to the exclusion of certain plant sources. Dr. Anthony Chaffee reassures us that animal products like pork, grass-fed beef and animal fat are excellent sources of selenium, supporting thyroid and immune health. Thiamine deficiency is a concern due to the exclusion of whole grains and legumes. But Dr. Ken Barry argues that beef and fish are rich sources of thiamine. Regular consumption ensures adequate intake supporting energy metabolism and nervous system health. Vitamin C deficiency is cited due to the exclusion of fruits and vegetables. Dr. Sean Baker points out that meat, particularly organ meat like liver, contains adequate amounts of vitamin C. 
the body's requirement for vitamin C decreases when carbohydrate intake is minimized. As we can see, the carnivore diet can provide all the necessary nutrients when properly planned and executed. But how does this information impact the potential ban? So, with these expert opinions in mind, where does this leave the potential ban on the carnivore diet? The carnivore diet, celebrated for its therapeutic potential in treating intractable health conditions, has been under the microscope. With its rising popularity and testimonies of improved health, it's become a formidable opponent to industries that profit from artificial food supplements and costly medications. Critics have raised concerns about possible nutritional deficiencies from omega-3 fatty acids to fiber, zinc, magnesium, potassium, vitamin D, and vitamin K2. However, we've heard from top carnivore diet experts like Dr. Ken Barry, Dr. Anthony Chaffee, and Dr. Sean Baker, who have offered insightful rebuttals to these criticisms. They've highlighted how nutrient-rich animal products can adequately supply all these essential nutrients. Ultimately, the carnivore diet may be under threat of a ban, but its many health benefits and the dedicated community of followers suggest it's here to stay. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe, and stay informed.